This is the Quran, 65 verse 4, where Allah allows men to marry and divorce prepubertant little girls after they have sexually abused them. We might ask here, all of us, why in 2007 our morals are higher than this so-called God? Let's find out together. I received an email this morning by a fellow named American Muslim. Well, I think it's a guy, but I don't know for sure. He writes, God knows why you disabled the comment section. You wouldn't want to hear the truth. Or maybe you realized how dumb of you to defy God's world. One advice, though. If you want to discuss something, do some research first. Well, American Muslim, this must be your lucky day because you and I are going to research this together right now. And everyone else can follow along. Let me read on. He writes, even little kids can refute your arguments. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Let's read on. Firstly, this is for the women that haven't seen their period yet. As you may already know, not all women have their period due to medical problem. What would they do? What about the one who are in the middle of youth talking about 2025? Learn the facts. Yes, American Muslim, we're going to learn the facts together right here and now. As you go on and say, you were talking about Islam allowing youngs to be married, even though that this is not true. I'm going to show you right now that it is true, according to your book. Uh, I sent American Muslim a response, and I want to share it with you uh, before I carry on. All right, this is what I sent back to American Muslim. Look how all your top Muslim scholars, Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Jalalain, and Tilbury, accuse you of being a liar. All the leading Tasfir agree that 65 verse 4 is speaking about the divorce of a very young wife and those who are too young to have a period. Go read Ibn Abbas, liar, and don't email me again. Now, I've given him the uh, websites and the Tasfirs from alislam.com for Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Jalalain, and Tilbury. And these, my friends, are all Islamic top scholars. There's no one higher than these guys. These are the very tasfirs that every Muslim alive today has uh, believed in as authentic tasfirs, and all of their ancestors have followed. And I've told American Muslim here, don't email me again, because I receive way too many emails um, of every sort. And so I feel that it's fair enough that he can respond in this uh, YouTube and we can all read together what he has to comment and say about the evidences presented to him as we learn together. So let's go on now uh, and see what the Quran says and the explanation for the Quran. Okay, I'm here at a site here. It's called um, islamicfoundation.com. This is an Islamic site. This is not a Christian site. And uh, let's look at the Quran together now, 65.4, and see what it says. Here we are. The waiting period of those of your women who have lost all expectation of menstruation shall be three months, in case you entertain any doubt, and the same shall apply for those who have not yet menstruated. And do you see the 13 here, Guy? This is the commentary. We're going to scroll down to 13 and read what the commentary says about this verse. Not too far. 14, 13, here we go. They may not have menstruated as yet because of young age. <laughs> wow, okay. American Muslim, pay attention. Or delayed menstrual discharge as it happens in the case of some women. So you can see from this commentary that it explains that it could be young age as well, which you are denying. Let's go on and read. Here one should bear in mind the fact that according to the explanations given in the Quran as the question of the waiting period arises in respect of women with whom marriage may have been consummated. For there is no waiting period in case of divorce is pronounced before the consummation of marriage. Well this makes perfect sense. You know if you don't do the hoochie coochie 
uh, no need to wait for divorce because it's impossible for her to be pregnant. Let's read on. Therefore, making mention of the waiting period for the girls. <laughs> what? Girls? Hey, look, it says girls. Hey, American Muslim. Girls, do you read that? Who have not yet menstruated. You know, you said women. Why do you Muslims like to always refer to these little girls as women? Does it make it appear in your mind as if they're older? Hmm? It says girls. Therefore, making mention of the waiting period for the girls who have not yet menstruated clearly proves that it is not only permissible to give away the girl in marriage at this age, wow, wow, but it is also permissible for the husband to consummate the marriage with her. I call this rape. Anyway, let's go on. Now, obviously, no Muslim has the right to forbid a thing which the Quran has held pr as permissible. You know, American Muslim, this last sentence applies to you personally. Obviously, no Muslim has the right to forbid a thing which the Quran has held permissible. It's not up to you, sir, to interpret the Quran for yourself and try to persuade people that they're incorrect when they say something, unless you are 100% correct. But instead, you use your mind. You know, you use your 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 wishful thinking to try to persuade people to believe in an Islam that you want to believe in. But your scholars and your commentaries disagree with what you're saying and what you're trying to tell people. It is not only permissible to give away the girl in marriage at this age, but it is also permissible for the husband to consummate the marriage with her. Here we see Allah in 65 verse 4, not only instructing men how to marry and divorce little kids after they've consummated the marriage with them, which I call sexual abuse because, you know, kids are too young, they're too tiny and too small to make moral decisions about carnal relations. Right? Anyway. I think that's it. You can go and check all the references that I've given you in your email and check out your this site a little more, islamicfoundation.com. And I don't think there's anything more to discuss. I think instead, American Muslim, you should invest your time now to contemplate on your couch what Islam really means and if you want to continue to be a part of it because this is only one of the moral issues of this book who is supposed to be a last testament. Okay, guys, as Investigate Islam says, Jesus is Lord, Islam is false, amen, and I'll see you next time.